Good morning, you guys. Oh, just watch that wind, the breeze. We made it. Whew. It was so hot, you guys. I see baby, stay here. Oh. The breeze is amazing, you guys. Can you see the cracks in the garden? Are you okay? Hey, you want to be picked up? <laughs> I was trying to show you outside, but Mr. Klingon over here, <laughs> he doesn't want to be outside. It's a bit windy for him, maybe. He feels so good out, actually. Where's he going? Do you want to go out? Mind your steps, okay? No fear. So, I wanted to show you guys how, what helped us cope. I've already started pulling it off, but we put on, this is kitchen foil on the outside. That is the key. We have some in Ozzy's bedroom that's on the inside and it still gets really hot, but I'm telling you on the outside, my windows downstairs didn't even get hot. Now we only did it in the, oh, you okay? Right, come back inside. Are you going out? There you go. Opa. Good boy. Are we just going to play them? Step inside, step outside, step inside, step outside. <laughs> Mind your step. That's it. You can do it. Good job. So anyway, as I was telling you, look you guys. You can see it. I'm going to take it down today. We took the top one out last night because it was rattling. Uh, but Paul basically sprayed the windows with water. So it makes the foil stick down. And then he used sellotape as well to make sure. Because obviously it's on the outside. It's exposed to the wind and all that. This is what the place is looking like. We gave it a good tidy up. You mind your step. Come on. So this is what it looks like from the outside. We didn't put it at the front because we thought it looked like we're lunatics, but next time for sure we will because it made such a massive difference on the temperature inside. I'm going to pull it all off now. First load of bedding out. We used a travel cot for Aussie. Let me show you our setup. You guys, I wanted to show you the setup. This is where Ozzy's going to sleep by the fridge in the kitchen area. We've taken anything he can reach and covered the, um, oh, what do you call it? The dryer so he doesn't play with the knobs or anything like that. And we borrowed a cot. So this is his setup. Um, that bottle is full of ice. So we're just hoping it helps make the room a bit cooler. We've got the fan. Um, even though it's pointing at his crib, it barely hits it. It's a really rubbishy fan, so it just gives it a slight, just helps the breeze. We've got his camera here so we can watch him. Um, we're about to do his milk. I'm gonna use this chair to feed him. Usually we feed him just before bed. Oh, it's so hot. His room's over 30, and down here is um, 26, 27. So this is going to be where he's going to sleep and we are going to be very quiet in the next room. I've got a cooler bag there full of water and stuff from the fridge that we might want tonight. Uh, but yeah, this is our setup to try and get him to sleep. That was a total lifesaver. I've cleaned the windows on the outside. That's done. This is just airing. First load, all the bedding's been washed today. Um, and if I can, all the other clothes as well. Um, I'm about to put the second load of bedding in. Okay, so we're upstairs. This is all clean. Ozzy's mattress is here to try and keep the door open. I'm going to start making the beds up. Some of it, it's still outside. You can see, oh, there's a lovely breeze. There you go, guys. You, you know, we said we'd do these on the inside. 
we're going to try and find a way to do with them on the outside. Second load of clothes out. The first one is done. So, yeah, I'm just going to make Ozzy's bed and see if I, I think I can make Alex's bed. Most of my bed is still out. But, yeah, I might actually go for a different, <laughs> for a different, um, bedding in our on our bed i forgot to tell you we actually slept downstairs all of us alex ozzy in the kitchen as you guys saw the setup and alex slept in that uh, no alex slept on this plus a sofa cushion super comfy i slept on that and paul slept on the sofa cushions we covered it all with sheets and um, it was super comfy because uh, up here was unbearable, you guys. So let me get some work done. Okay, you guys, all this done. I've made Ozzy's bed. This window is open. Got nappy change ready for when it's uh, nap time. I made our bed and I made Alex's bed. I was sweating so much that I even got in the shower afterwards. Here's Alex's bed. You're reading a book. <laughs> oh, I think it's time we go back downstairs. I'm going to give Ozzy a snack. Oh, you guys. So it's after lunch. It's twenty to two. Paul's gone back to work. Um, load number two is here for me to uh, fold. Um, load number three is out and load number four is just finishing i think most of that has been out since 12 so an hour and a half it's probably all dry which is awesome i need to empty the dishwasher and load it back up because that's how it goes ozzy's still asleep so i'm gonna get some stuff done but let me show you something <laughs> what is this you say it is the new air fryer if you follow me on or if you subscribe to my uh, shopping channel you knew that i was getting one of these i bought it on prime day and it is just a completely different yeah <laughs> i mean it has nothing on my other one my other one was fine but this is so much quieter I love the fact that it's got the two baskets, which you can cook at different temperatures and different times. You can also do max crisp, air fry, roast, bake, reheat, and you guys, dehydrate. That should be something fun for me to try. It is obviously much bigger than the other one. It's double the size. Oh, it's just, I briefly used it last night just to do some, um, pot baked bread in there excuse my nails i need to um redo that but it's um yeah i shall do a proper review once i've used it a few times and all of that but so far i'm impressed Oof. load out uh ready to dry hopefully it'll dry before it starts raining it's very very windy so it does tend to dry super quick which is good hmm but now um, I'm going to fold that. Before I do though, I'm going to quickly clean the kitchen floor before Ozzy wakes up, which will be any minute. Yeah, and then I can do oh, this. Yeah. Ozzy's still asleep. Can you guys see it's 30 degrees in his room? It's crazy. All the laundry's folded. I wanted to show you, if you guys follow me on my shopping channel, you saw that I purchased these amazing looking books uh this one is anne of green gables the secret garden oh. i've also got the railway children and the jungle book and yeah i'll have them linked below in case you're interested but basically they're really affordable they're around six pounds to 6.99 depending on the book and it's all the classics but beautifully with beautiful covers so they can be displayed. I just fell in love with them. So I bought these in June, these in July, and 
then I um, I won like ten pounds in the school lottery, so I decided to buy another two. And I went for Sense and Sensibility and Little Women. The covers just blow my mind. There's a, uh, I think there's a Christmas one. I think it's the Christmas Carol. So I'll for sure be getting that when the time comes. But my intention is to get a couple a month. So it'll be about £11 a month. But I thought they look so good. I don't know where I'm going to put them because I don't want them all on there. And I've got the green sort of vibe going. So I might find a different place for these ones. But I'm actually reading them. So I've started The Secret Garden, but I'm in the midst of reading Anne of Green Gables. And again, if you do not follow me on my shopping channel, I mention the Netflix series that I think everyone would love. It's so nice and easy to watch kind of thing. Anyway, that's it. Um, what's the time? Let's see. I'm going to give Ozzy another 10 minutes and then I have to wake him up. I hate doing that because he's always so grumpy. I was so just about to say, I don't think I showed my mug, but here's the reason why. What's going on? Hot mess. Hot mess. Sweating. Frizzy hair. I hope you're all good, doing good, you guys. I hope that you went through the uh, the heat wave all right. Um, there's been a lot of tragedy in London and Lincolnshire in Portugal, in France, in Spain, it's just the wildfires are just crazy. So I hope every single one of you and your families are safe. That's all I want. So I'm going to relax for 10 minutes. Guys, I'm about to go and get Alex from school. Ozzy's up. I'm going to put some shorts on him and we're going to go get Alex. But I'm going to finish this vlog here. I'm actually going to upload it. I, I plan to upload it tomorrow, but I'm going to upload it just a bit later and upload it tonight, probably between four and five. So see you in the next one.